I do not own the rights to this music. But we shall overcome. And I'll tell you why. We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. We shall overcome because Carlisle is right. No lie can live forever. We shall overcome because William Cullen Bryant is right. Truth crushed to earth will rise again. We shall overcome because James Russell Lowell is right. Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Yet that scaffold sways the future. Behind the dim unknown standeth God within the shadow, keeping watch above his own. We shall overcome because the Bible is right. You shall reap what you sow. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, January 16th, 2022. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing justice and law and history as the title of the Winter Lesson series, which is categorized into three units or groups of lessons. In Unit 1, we talked about God requires justice, and in Unit 2, we're talking about God as the source of justice. The Justice, Law, and History series focuses on justice as applied and documented in the Old Testament and defines justice as originating with God and given to his people under the law. In these lessons, God applies justice to the lives of his people. And here it's the children of Israel in the wilderness. The title of our third lesson in the Unit 3 Winter Lesson Series is titled Unbiased Actions, meaning that our actions should be impartial and fair to all. We should not deviate from to the right or to the left, but we should be focused on the straight and the narrow. The key verse comes from Exodus 23, verses 2 through 3, which reads, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak any cause to decline after many to, re to rest judgment, and neither shall thou countenance a poor man in his cause. And these are talking about our actions as far as justice is concerned. The title of today's lesson is Unbiased Actions, and scripturally it comes from the book of Exodus in the Old Testament, and it concerns the rules for justice. And in the background to today's lesson, the children of Israel have received the Ten Commandments as the model in which they were to live their lives as the chosen people under the covenant with God in the promised land. Exodus chapter 23 is a continuation of the commandments and provides specific examples of the application of the commandments to their daily lives, which brings us to today's lesson. There are three summary lesson points for today. First is uphold the truth from Exodus chapter 23, verses 1 through 3. Two, fair treatment, Exodus 23, 4 through 9. And justice and the Sabbath from Exodus chapter 23, verses 10 through 12. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of faith, false report, perverted, oppressed, and unbiased. And faith is complete trust and assurance or confidence in God. And as we have faith in God, we strive to keep his commandments, or we should in any way. False report is a deception, falsehood, or an outright lie. And perverted means turns from right to wrong, are actions that distort, misinterpret, or misapply facts or doctrines, namely laws, perverted the law. Oppress means to assert or use ruling power in an abusive and revengeful manner and not judicially from God. Unbiased meaning that we should not, our actions and our thoughts 
should show no prejudice or dislikes or favor for or against something or someone. We are to be impartial in our thoughts and our actions. The first summary point is to uphold the truth from Exodus chapter 23, verses 1 through 3. In these passages, Exodus records that God's instruction under the law to the children of Israel was to demonstrate impartiality in legal matters. We are required to be a truthful witness, and our testimony in court is supposed to be truthful. We are prohibited from lying based on these commandments. It says that thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thine hand with a wicked to an unrighteous witness. A righteous witness is a witness that is in alignment with God. Follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment and countenance a poor man in his cause. So we are not to uh, lie for people because we may feel sorry for them, but we are to uphold the truth and we are not to lie because that is the thing to do or the thing of the moment. We as Christians and followers of Jesus Christ, we are to seek truth. The second summary point is fair treatment from Exodus chapter 23, verses 4 through 9. In these passages, the children of Israel are instructed to demonstrate compassion and fairness in everyday conduct. The Lord requires of us that if our enemies, if we see our enemies' ass or property, that we are to bring it back. If we see that the enemy or enemies' ass is suffering under a burden, then we are to help relieve that burden, even for people we do not like, that we should not risk judgment of the poor. We don't lie for them. Stay far away from a false matter or lies, he said, she said, behavior, and the innocent and righteousness slay not, for I would not justify the wicked, meaning that we are not to be going around slandering innocent people for the just for the, you know, heck of it. And thou shalt no, take no gifts, because it says, For the gift it blinded the wise, and twist the words of the righteous. So justice is not going to prevail based on right and wrong in that instance. And also we are not to oppress a stranger, for it says that we know the heart of a stranger because we experienced that in the land of Egypt. The children of Israel did it. And we as black Negroes, African Americans, we experienced it as part of uh, our ancestors being enslaved people. So we are to have compassion for all people, even people who may have oppressed our enslaved ancestors. The third summary point is justice and the Sabbath. And that's from Exodus chapter 23, verses 10 through 12. And in these passages, God instructs the children of Israel to demonstrate justice in economic matters through the observance of a Sabbath day and a Sabbath year. And the Sabbath day and the Sabbath year was intended to recognize the fact that everyone needs rest, even the animals that uh, till the soil, that they use to till the soil, uh, needed rest. The same as we do in our daily life. We need rest from the stresses of life on a daily basis so that we can reflect on our relationship with God and determine to move forward in a new day, new year, with a renewed sense of strength and purpose. So in these passages, uh, the children of Israel were to 
observe this Sabbath day, meaning that they were to work for seven days, for six days, and for the seventh day they were to rest. And likewise, they were to till the soil for six years, and the seventh year they were to let the soil lie dormant. Now, the purpose of this was to, first of all, to rejuvenate the soil. And secondly, it was to allow for the provision of those poor people who may not have the provisions to um, save for the lean years and also for the animals. So it was recognition of the economics related to the people's um, livelihood. So those are the summary lesson points for Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Uh, first of all, uphold the truth. Secondly, fair treatment. And thirdly, justice and the Sabbath. In conclusion, based on our lesson today for Martin Luther King Jr. birthday, we should be reminded that Dr. King appealed to our shared humanity as children of God as documented in Exodus as the basis of his appeal and demand for justice for Negroes, subsequently African Americans or Blacks. As Christians, we have a responsibility to control our biased thoughts, to respect the law, to be honest with all in our actions and dealings, to help those in need and distress, even our enemies, to treat all people the same, rich, poor, pretty, ugly, etc. We all have a common humanity. And lastly, we are to respect foreigners and strangers and those are, who are different because we should never forget that we were once in those shoes and to a certain degree still are. Amen. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, January 16th, 2022. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.